All right, so I'm going to do a quick follow-up to one of my videos, recent video I did speaking about how um, at work, at my job, at my career job, um, I'm, I'm in a union and I helped to manifest the organization giving us a second work from home day. Prior, they only provided one. Uh, they were stonewalling and uh, someone, a manager, told me that the head of the organization did not and was not going to provide a second day. Basically, the head of this organization who reports to one higher up, uh, it's, it's a, public, uh, a public entity, so they report to a politician. The politician basically agreed to allow workers to do, you know, uh, work from home and some some entities in this organization are giving four work from home days some three um, ours tentatively agreed to two but then they were stopping at one um, everybody was angry about it the union was getting involved saying hey you know one isn't enough but basically the the, the top layer head of these organizations told each organization head that it's up to you so our organization head didn't want to do it um anyway uh long story short within a month she gave in and uh and gave the second day um some people would say no you're not responsible for that uh, in my universe i believe i was so you know prove me wrong anyway that's not what this follow-up is is about well it is but what I forgot to mention in the other video was that okay when this manager told me forget it she's not gonna do it I I mentally in my head replied to him um, that's what you think that's what you think she is going to do it she's already decided to do it she's just waiting a little bit longer and then she's going to announce it right so I, I did that several times. What I forgot to mention was that I even imagined her, because I, I, I've met this organization head before. I know what she looks like. I know what she sounds like. I know her politics. Um, you know, she, she basically, she's a, a billionaire who's got political uh, aspirations um, from a, a, a rich family. Um, very accomplished person and, and, and definitely politically ambitious. Uh, so anyway, I was just imagining her also giving into this. I didn't, I didn't stop at that, at that particular manager. And I, I did go on up straight to the top to her. And I, I actually did imagine her uh, giving in, acquiescing to, these, uh, to what I, I wanted. Um, and I, I totally forgot to mention that in the first video. So someone did reply to that video. Uh, you know who you are if you're listening to this. And and was trying to do the same within their organization. And asked, you know, should I just imagine whatever this higher up? I was, yeah, of course. Yeah. Imagine whoever you want. They're all you pushed out. There's, there's no limits here, right? There's no limits. And, you know... Um, you know, so, so, so some people might say, well, why, why don't you uh, just imagine everyday work from home? Well, I think deep down, for me at least, I do enjoy, enjoy going in once in a while. I do enjoy seeing my, my colleagues. I do personally believe that there is a certain amount to be gained from in-person communication and touching base. Uh, so the complete work from home... Uh, COVID style, now that we're not in a pandemic, it doesn't really apply. Um, you do get a little distant when you're completely remote and cut off from people. And I guess I, at some deep level, I must have those feelings. I mean, I know I do because I just said it. So um, even though on the surface I may say, oh, I, I'd love to work from home every day of the week, uh, I do have these deep-seated beliefs which are manifesting in not having every day 
like that. So I, I may work on that, I may not. I'm, I'm actually big picture uh, working on other things in my life. So getting too granular with the job thing isn't really something I'm interested in. So there's lots of nuance to this. You have to understand it's not all or nothing and you do have many competing thoughts or beliefs that are that play into how things really work out in your in your life and you need to realize that. It's not just like you randomly say or feel like I'd like to have this, how come it's not happening? Well, because there's lots of other beliefs you have whether you know it or not that are manifesting, deep-seated ones. Um and that that could very well be the reason why. Think about it. It, it makes sense, doesn't it? So um, anyway, I wanted to follow up and mention that and hope that that might uh, clear things up or at least fill in some blanks that some people may have when, when pondering these things. Thanks. Please like and subscribe. Look at my other videos. I also, cre oh, by the way, I created another playlist for my, the affirmation loops I've been doing. I created a playlist for that, public playlist. Um, I'm not sure if I could link that or you can just look it up and find it. It, it may be listed there, but it, it mentions affirmations. You know, I've got a playlist for mind movies. Now I have a playlist for affirmations. I have a playlist for Neville lectures without background music, voice only. Um, I have several public playlists that you can zero in on to make it easier to find certain content. All right, see you later.